In this video, I'm going to show you how to add alt text to your images in WordPress and explain what alt text does and why it's important. And talk a little bit about a couple of other things to think about when you're optimizing images for search in your WordPress site. So here I am in the back end of my WordPress site and I'm in the media library. I'm going to add a new file, uh, a new image and it's this one here on my desktop. And the first thing to say is that it's got a very descriptive file name. So if you're taking pictures with your phone or you're downloading images from stock photography sites, you'll often find that the file name is indeed like these ones underneath, a big long list of um, kind of meaningless text and numbers. Before you load the image into your website, it's a good idea to change the title of the image, the file name, to something descriptive, because this is one of the cues that Google uses to try and understand what your image is and what the page is about. So I'm loading up my picture, which, as you can see, is indeed a fried egg and avocado on toast. So I just clicked on the image here and it takes me through to this attachment details page. And here is where you add your alternative text. So alternative text serves two purposes. The first one is to make your website more accessibility, more accessible rather to people with disabilities. So if you imagine somebody who might be visually impaired is visiting your website and they're using a screen reader. So the screen reader is reading out what it sees on your page for the purposes of um, helping the visually impaired person to understand what it is. And uh, it comes to an image, it's got no way of really looking at the image and seeing what it is and describing it, so it uses the alt text. So if there's no alt text, then the image may as well not be there, it serves no purpose. Uh, good descriptive alt text will help the visitors to the site who are using screen readers to understand what the page is and what the elements on the page are. The other reason why it's a good idea to add alt text for your images is for Google. So this is one of the cues that Google uses to try and understand what the content of your page is and what your page is about. So the image has got a title and it's just picked up the title from the file name that I've given it. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into the alternative text. I'm going to use exactly the same wording here because it really just describes what it is. There's no need for the alt text to say this is a picture of or this is an image of. You can just get straight to the point and describe what's in the picture. Next down, we've got the caption. So sometimes your theme will display an image with the caption in some circumstances, not always. So if you're using the image as a featured image on a blog post, for example, it's unlikely that the theme would pick up in that example uh, and display the caption. But if you're inserting the image into a post, into the body of a post or a page, then there's a, a good chance that the caption will be displayed uh, people tend to scan through web pages when they're reading them and quite often they're more likely to see the caption than they are some other elements of the page, uh, some of the, the text that you've written. So the caption is, is another opportunity that you have to help both Google and a human visitor to understand what your page is about. So I'm going to use exactly the same wording again, but just with a capital F. The description field, you don't need to worry about so much. So when you load an image into WordPress, typically you would interact with the image via the media library, the way that we've done here. But behind the scenes, uh, Google, sorry, WordPress is creating a page for each image and the images are stored like that, almost as their own kind of category of blog post. And um, you can view that here where it says view attachment page. So if I click on that, again, this isn't a page that uh, an external visitor to your site would ever really come across, but uh, Google can. Um, and if we go back here and add something into the description, again, let's use the same wording again and view the attachment page again, you can see the description appears here underneath the image. 
So it's worth putting something in for a sort of belt and braces SEO approach. But really, it's the alternative text, the title, the file name and the caption that are the most important parts of this. So if I just show you how this works in practice, I'm going to go to my posts list. And I've got a post here about making the perfect full English breakfast. And I'm going to insert this image in. So here it is inserted into the post. Just click away from that. Uh, and you can see that here in my theme, I've got the opportunity to um, edit the image settings on the actual page as well. So if I had forgotten to put the alt text in, when I loaded up the image, I could add it here. You can see it's displaying the caption underneath. If I just update that and we view it, here it is actually on the page and with the caption displayed underneath. If I inspect that, so this is showing us the code behind the scenes for the image that we've just inserted. So you can see here that the image source is, and here's the uh, URL of the image with the name fried egg and avocado on toast.jpg, and here is the alt text fried egg and avocado on toast. So that's where it lives in the code behind your website. And that's what both Google and the screen reader would be picking up um, once you've set alt text for all your images. So I hope this has been useful as a brief guide to optimizing your images.